Reinhard, thank you very much for the invitation to the technology meetings here at WFL Austria 2019. Now, you head up the applications department. Now, this M80X Milton is fully packed with technology. Can you tell us a little bit about what's on this machine? Yeah, we have quite a few unique features in this machine. For example, the Coroplus boring bar solution, which is a sensor boring bar. Then we have the grinding application in this machine with a prismatic grinding head and dressing unit on the machine. And of course also uh, the laser, which is now fully integrated in the machine, so it can be changed automatically in and out. And it's outside of the working space if we don't need the laser units. The, the target is really having a, a rough part into the machine, machine it, cut everything, every material which we need to cut off. And then we can add, for example, some part on the surfaces. We can clad some areas for wear resistance, or we can harden, uh, for example, bearing seats and these things on, a, on, a, on this machine with the laser. So, for instance, uh, if you're an oil and gas uh, client and, and you've actually made a part effectively, but you need to re-weld it, for, is, is this what these types of machines are for? It's not really dedicated for repair jobs. It's more for uh, creating a real finished part instead of putting a part after cutting it to another operation where we have to where we have to weld something on it or if you have to harden it. The big advantage is if we can have the hardening in the machine, we also can do the finished machine in the same clamping. So this, the accuracy is much better compared to a separated process. The maximum workpiece diameter is one meter. Maximum workpiece length is six meters and the maximum workpiece weight is six tons. And the tool capacity of the, the magazine is up to 200 tools. And from a global point of view, what type of sectors are you winning with this type of technology? I would say it's mainly the general engineering industry, so all the, the typical engineering components, that's of course automotive products, uh, oil and gas business as well, and of course also aerospace, but in the aerospace field, uh, especially the laser is still not really a thing which is allowed to use on these components. And I see that you're using Sanvix smart tool solution. For those engineers that don't actually know what those uh, applications are for, what does the actual smart tool operation actually do? Basically it's a 17 times overhang boring bar, vibration damp boring bar, and there are some sensors in front of the boring bar, and these sensors, they can measure certain things during the bar is cutting. Because usually on a, if you machine an ID, you can't see anything, you may hear something, but the, the sensors give you really a, a feeling what happens inside the bore. There's a, a temperature sensor, it gives you uh, information about the, the temperature of the dampening system, which is important. Also a vibration sensor, which shows you if there is vibration or not. And also a, a estimated uh, surface finish, roughness, which you can achieve with this cut. And uh, also deflection and the load monitoring. And all the signals are fully integrated in the CNC control, so we can monitor them, but we also can uh, protocol them for later inspection of the component. So is that very much aimed at sort of industry for all the data effectively? Right, that's absolutely into this direction, yeah. Uh, because it's, it's really much safer for a customer if he has the chance to look after what the part is produced onto this, this protocol and see, okay, after a certain distance, there was maybe a small vibration, so we can really he can really point uh, at this quality department, look at this position after certain lengths, there must be something on a component. And when you look at this uh, application, is there anything else that you can add to this uh, machine? Yeah, of course, there are a few more things, uh, because there are more technology meetings coming up in the future, and we need to have also new things for the next years.